Hey guys, this is Pat from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I have another wedding request for Kayla. And she needs some vases made out of some wooden limbs for some bouquets, I guess. Some sort of wedding props. So um, I thought I would bring you in the shop and take, take you in here and show you what I'm doing today. So what I have here is I picked out some some dried limbs from our birch tree that we took out a couple of years ago and I have to make these into shorter pieces so I can cut them down to where they're gonna be not so tall and so I'm gonna make them six and three quarters inches wide that way I can get two vases out of one piece of wood here so I try to get it as flat as possible you know the flats the flat end and the top are going to be flat so why don't we go ahead and get some cuttings off of these now now of course when you move this around on the uh, fence here or on the table and fence for the uh, miter saw you're, it's going to adjust this to where this front face here is going to be not square and level so it's kind of a guessing game a little bit to try to get it uh, get it square but we try to get it as square as possible and then we can always sand it down later on the belt sander to make it a little more true so I get it as true as I can here in relationship to the fence basically I'm just eyeballing it um, I could take a square and bring over here and lay up next to it, but uh, I also have to keep in mind that it has to be solid when I go to cut it, or this thing is going to the the blade's going to grab and uh, end up being a little bit dangerous. So I have to be thinking about all that too. That looks fairly square. I put a wedge back here to hold this up against or away from the fence a little bit. Again, this is just eyeballing this to get it close to being square. I'll fine tune it when I get done cutting. Either by a sander or some other device. Now what you can see, I, I got a piece of wood here that I just put on the back side to bring this out so I can square the cut up, the kerf here, so I can cut back, cut on the back side of the wood. So this is up against the fence and down against the table and likewise with this piece here so it's uh, pretty sturdy. A little knob down on the bottom side here where a limb used to be and so if I want to cut this on the back side I can prop that up to where it's close to square put a piece on the back side shim that out Okay, that'll get me close enough to where I can sand the rest of that down on the belt sander. So we'll go ahead and do that. You can kind of see that this has some spalting in it. What 
when I'm sanding the one side, I just go ahead and get it get it flat on the bottom. And I'm also when I'm sanding both sides, I'm trying to keep this at a level plane uh, instead of tilting it back or forward or whatever like that. So I try to average out 90 degrees on the on the plane here of the of the piece of wood so it's straight up and down as best I can get it now it's not going to be perfect because it's a you know it's one of nature's characteristics this is a unique deal and uh, one of a kind and but I want to have it as vertical as possible so when I sand both of the both sides of this I'm also I'm looking for a flat and I'm also looking for as square as I can get it so when this sits down on top of the table or whatever it has a flat and horizontal surface here so that looks pretty good so I'm going to take this over to the radial arm saw and bore a hole in the top of this with a forstner bit okay here we are with the uh, drill press and I have chucked up in here a two and a half inch forstner bit and what I'll do is I will clamp this vase approximately in center I got a flat side here a rounded side here and because the bit is going to want to twist the whole piece of wood I want to put this in the jaw clamp in such a way that when this wants to twist it, it twists it and the, the flat side that I have chosen to go on the right hand side of the bar clamp or the jaw clamp it's going to want to stay clamped in that position now if I had like a sharp point facing like this then when I have this clamped in place the bit is going to want to try to pull that out and rotate it and so this is likely to move if I don't have a flat side as you can see here this is flat if I don't have that flat side up against the clamp itself then it's more than likely to come out of the uh, the clamps and move on me so I want to put this in a clamp in such a way that it will minimize the chance of it coming loose uh, there's no guarantees when you're doing something like this that it won't come loose but you try to minimize the uh, the thread anyway now with something like this you're just going to have to eyeball this you're going to have to center it there's no there's no perfect center to this thing it's just uh, what looks good take some quick clamps and clamp in here as far as I can go this way now I'll hold this down with my hand that looks like it's about roughly in the middle Pretty good hole for a bouquet of flowers to fit in. I really think the spalting is kind of a neat deal. Now she's going to come over a little bit later today and I'm going to leave this uh, as deep as this will, will run down. Right now this is all the throw the drill press has and so I won't, I won't bore this any deeper until I get feedback from her as to how deep she wants these. I would guess that she wants these a little deeper. Um, this is good. This is a two and a half inches deep already. And so I'd imagine um, for a wooden vase that you'd want that a little bit deeper so it could hold all the flowers uh, in there without having the flowers, flowers kind of fall, fall out. That might be good enough. I don't think so. But... Uh, We'll wait until she comes and takes a look at it and see what she thinks. Well, I got about nine more. I heard I heard the number nine is one number, and then I heard 19 or 17 or something like that is another number. So I'll make a bunch of these up, 
and uh, that way I'll be that much ahead when she shows up. have to do is maybe clean up the edges here I'll sand those off bevel them off a little bit and uh, I think that's exactly what she's looking to do she's doing a rustic barn type uh, outdoorsy type wedding so thanks for hanging out with me today in the shop take care and God bless <music>